Hi, my name is Reed Swear, and welcome to Cape Fear Academy News. Here to start us off with some national news is Jacob Lee with a controversy story from the president of Ukraine. Jacob? Thanks, Reed. Now, the president of Ukraine has gone missing. Ukraine's out outposted president is a wanted man. He was also overthrown for putting heavy taxes on his people. The mayor of Kharkiv, where the president was a few days ago, says he hasn't seen him in a few days. He, he's apparently also not hiding in a bunker in a Ukrainian Orthodox monastery, a church sp spokesman said, swatting down the latest in, in, insults. Over the weekend, he fled to Kharkiv, a pro-Russian stronghold near the border, and he tried to board a charter plane in the eastern city of Dontask, but he was turned away because he didn't have his documents. He's still missing, but here's some interesting facts about him. He made his own vodka brand with all the taxes he earned. Read. Thank you, Jacob. Now to shift gears. The Cape Fear Academy Lower School have been working on projects, and they are revealing them tomorrow in the Lower School. Here to tell us all about it is Parker Ormsby. Parker? Thanks, Reed. Hi, I'm Parker Ormsby, and I'm here to tell you about our Lower School artists. Lower School students in the After Class Enrichment Program Creative Collages will have their work on display at an upcoming local art show. <clears throat> Everyone is invited to the Art Factory on Friday, February 28th from 6 to 9 p.m. to see their work in the CAW, which is the College Artists of Wilmington, Art Show. Our creative students have been working really hard this semester to create masterpieces that will be on display as a part of the fourth Friday Gallery Walk. We hope to see you there to congratulate our lower school artists. Thanks, Parker. Glenn Wilson has a story for Jump Over Heart, which the lower school participate in. Here to tell us all about it is Glenn Wilson. Glenn? Thanks, Reed. Jump Up for Heart is taking place this Friday. As some of you know, students donate money to win various prizes. All of the money raised will go to the American Heart Association and will be used for research and treatment of various diseases. On Friday, all lower school students will participate in activities such as jump ropes, relaces, and high jumps. <laughs> Thanks, Glenn. Now, if you're looking to play a spring sport this spring, Paul and Len will tell you all about it. Paul? Hi. I'm here to tell you about the spring sports update. The varsity boys lacrosse team starts with a game on Friday, February 26th, 28th. We will be expecting Connor Paul, Brian Colasso, Jack Cotts, J.P. Talbert, Joe Matry, Dennis Looney to be leading our varsity boys team. Varsity girls of Cross will also be starting on Wednesday, March 12th, and they will be playing against Northside High School. March 12th. And these are the players that also, that we will also be expecting the most from. Juliet Taylor, Caroline Maripis, Kat Thurn Frank, Kirsten McCormick, and Caroline Fidel. The varsity boys tennis and varsity track will be starting Thursday, March 13th. The track team will be at Topsail High School and, varsity, and the varsity tennis team will be playing at Fayetteville Christian. The varsity golf team will begin on Friday, March 14th at the Bloomington Mutant Tournament. Thanks, Paul. Last week, the middle school of Cape Fear Academy had a project week. Project week is a week where kids have to put together projects. Here to tell us all about it is Landon Short. For the past three years, the Cape Fear Academy Middle School has participated in Project Week. Project Week is an event for all middle school students that emphasizes team building, problem solving, and higher order thinking. Normal classes are suspended for the week so that students can creatively engage in this process. Students display their public speaking skills during a presentation where they report their findings and creations to community, professionals, and school faculty. This year's CFA Middle School Project Week gave focused attention to CFA and how to make it a better school. We are all used to hearing from parents and faculty, but this is an opportunity to hear from our students. The students learn more about the school's five-year plan and how it fulfills its missions and focuses on our core values of community, academic excellence, character, and opportunity. Projects were the students' ideas and perspectives of current and possible future programs that they view as enhancing and advancing to the CFA brand. Uh, they were challenged to find how any or all of the core values are uh, integrate, integrated with current programming, curriculum, and extracurricular opportunities. Thank you, Lincoln. And thank you for joining in at Cape Fair Academy News.
hundred 